morning scene at Sayadri Kolokadham. Our cow is headed by Shambhu in the front, brown color, followed by Jai and Vijay with the long horns. They're taken out for pasture, grazing by our cowherd Jagamishra Prabhu. This is a glimpse of the surrounding area. Looking towards the east side, large forest. And this is our land, grazing land, full of coconut trees, about 80 coconut trees altogether. So this scene is taking place every day in the morning around this time between 8 and 9 o'clock. Cows are taken out for grazing and uh, in the later afternoon they return around 4 or 5 o'clock. This year on this land our devotees harvested an area of uh, four acres of land, some 75 bags of uh, paddy, and uh, we can see them there actually in front of the house. Today they're going to be taken out and brought to the mill uh, for extracting the uh, rice and uh, these coconut trees give us a lot of coconut during the year. This is a mango tree in the front here as well. <clears throat> we cannot see from here, but uh, bordering this line of trees behind the coconut uh, trees are uh, is is a river actually that uh, leads into uh, Sita. Sita Nadi mm, flows pretty well all year round, especially higher, of course, in the rainy season. And uh, we can get, in this way, a good supply of water for our agriculture needs. At present, we have one family, and uh, we are inviting any interested devotees to become part of this uh, fledging community at the foothills of the uh, Sayadri mountain range <clears throat> which form the uh, western Ghat here in the southern part of Karnataka in the district of uh, Udupi. So welcome to Sayadri Golokodham. So, Hare Krishna, Srinivas Prabhu. So, we are here at uh, Sayadri Goloka Dham, which is near the small town of Hibri in the district of Udupi, South Karnataka. Can you explain a little bit about uh, Goloka Dham and uh, what some devotees are trying to do here? Oh, Hare Krishna. <laughs> thanks for asking the wonderful question. And thanks for the good name, Goloka Dham. Yes. Uh, I can really feel the glimpse of that. Mm. Uh, this place, uh, there are devotees that are staying here, a wonderful family with three kids. And there is another uh, eight-member uh, family, the cows. Mm. They're all happily living together. There's a three-member family, there's uh, dogs. Uh -huh. They live together. Yes. And, um, you know, you can see the, uh, the mountains in the back, that side. And um, there is about 11 acres of land here out of which we've cultivated almost four, four and a half acres this year. Mm. And uh, it's all rice. And the second crop we have going on is uh, moong dal. Mm. Uh, so that will be harvested in another month and a half. Mm. So we, uh, you can see the bags. There's about uh, 75 uh, uh, to 80 bags here. It's worth about 35 uh, quintals of rice right now. 
and uh, we just harvested earlier this year. So in another uh, uh, two weeks, we'll be getting actual rice from the uh, mill. Mm. So this is completely organic mm. with uh, no pesticides, no uh, chemical fertilizers, just uh, from original manure from the cow dungs. So uh, we're really excited. Last year we cultivated, uh, what is it? Probably three quarters of an acre. Mm. And uh, you should just taste the, uh, the rice mm. that comes from these you know, natural uh, things and devotee grown rice. Mm. It's, I can't explain. It's just <laughs> uh, a night and day difference. And uh, we don't polish it till it's really white because that, at that point you've taken all the fibers out. Yes. So it's just a little browny color. So it's really nice. And uh, our, our, um, we have other projects lined up. We want to have a, Maraj wants to have a Gurukula here. Mm. And um, we also want to have uh, built a community hall here. Mm. So we can have uh, some yoga classes, mm. uh, some panchak uh, Panchagavya treatment uh, courses here, yes. uh, like a retreat for uh, uh, really corporate uh, world affected people. <laughs> they can really come and, you know, uh, and there is uh, Sorna Radi Nadi, that's a river, right, that uh, flows adjacent to our land here. Yes. So they can come take a dip. You can hear the uh, kids mm. uh, just having a ball here. <laughs> just, uh, you can hear them from here. Correct. And, uh, <clears throat> excuse me. So uh, there's a lot going on, a lot of uh, opportunity. We, we welcome all the devotees all over the world to come and participate and encourage the people here and uh, and the people that are supporting this project plus uh, you know we would like to uh, you know give them back when they go back mm. is carry this message of Prabhupada saying you know simple living and uh, it doesn't end there high thinking is yeah. <laughs> <laughs> even more important Correct. but uh, this gives an opportunity to uh, to uh, to uh, what do you call it uh, explore the high thinking opportunity so um, uh, please come and visit us and encourage us. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you. Hare Krishna. Grace Prabhupada. Hare Our cows being taken out from the Gosala. Uh, a scene that happens daily around this time and it seems that our main uh, bull actually whom we see here Shambhu Shambhu is always in the front uh, followed by our uh, Halikar breed uh, with the long horns the two here uh, Jai and Bijai. <clears throat> it's a beautiful scene actually to see every day. Uh, it is because of uh, these bulls, bullocks, that we are able to cultivate with this land because of the cows and that we're getting daily our milk from which occasionally, depending on the quantity that is uh, given, <clears throat> uh, we can make uh, uh, yogurt uh, and buttermilk and uh, ghee as well, uh, from which we can make so many different preparations. So because we don't have a large number of cows right now, uh, the amount of land that we have in total about 11 acres is quite uh, sufficient uh, to maintain these cows and bulls. Uh, we hope to uh, acquire or at least have access to more land and that will uh, facilitate uh, the grazing for the cows and uh, <coughs> uh, we have we're surrounded actually by a lot of uh, government land, forest land, some of which uh, we hope to uh, uh, get at least on, on lease uh, so that we can have 
<coughs> uh, more cows. Uh, cows in, in, in themselves are uh, considered in our Vedic culture as a tremendous uh, opulence. Cows, land, and uh, Krishna, that is the magic formula for a happy, a prosperous, and uh, Krishna conscious lifestyle. I don't